So, how's the average viewer count for my video? I would say it's alright. It's about the same. And what about subs? We don't talk about that on this channel. You just did a video celebrating 300. Hush. Look, what if we try tag teaming the next one? That's, that's not gonna work. That's too much editing. Oh no, that's not what I meant. Do you have the courage to ride with the devil? Duchi! Arito! Arito! Duchi! I know I messed up the Gaia memory sequence. There is a reason I look like this now. Before we begin, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, Mr. Lay Down My Life is alive and well, and chilling out with mom. In the upcoming Blu-ray release of Kamen Rider Revice, we get the Hiromi special Dear Gaga. As hilarious and out of place as this feels, it looks like it's its own self-parody. I just have to give Hiromi the L on this one. I'm lowering your tier from useless byline to why were you even here? Now on to this week's episode. The episode starts off with a little bit of a comedic bit where it's now been a week since Iki and Vice have swapped bodies and thus the shenanigans that go along with all that will indeed ensue. As Sakura leaves the scene of the trashed happy spa house, George walks right in and reveals that he knows. He knows. That's right, in this episode it appears that George Karizaki has figured out everything and the wheels of the plot advancements are finally starting to move. First, we address No Heart Daddy Genta. George takes Genta to bathe him and, while getting some man-on-man -man scrub downs, asks him about the scar on his chest. Short answer? He doesn't know. Long answer? We have to wait until next week. Next up, we get Ortega in communications with the Demon's Driver. He is well aware that it contains some additional powers. Wanting to further his agenda, he stamps one of his loyal followers <laughs> and changes them into a Giftarian to cause some havoc. Aguilera clearly doesn't like it. Why is she even sticking with this man? Is it like really just a rebound thing? Also, like, no one says gracias dead man anymore. Did they forget about that or did it just die with the chameleon dead man? <laughs> dead man. It's like once you're goaded, you just can't go back. It won't feel the same. George, th this man is getting all the screen time this episode. Anyway, figures out a way to get Iki and Vice to swap places and even notes that if they stay like this, Iki will likely die from starvation and in turn also killing Vice. Last week's episode ended with the shock reveal of Karizaki, and we don't get to address that bit until halfway through this episode. Karizaki Sr. explains that they've been monitoring the Igarashi family, and in particular Iki, for a while, and they've been looking for a way to contain demons, and that as Gifu gets close to revival, all of the demons are getting stronger. We see this later on in the episode as Daiji appears to finally have some screen time, showing that Kagero has been getting stronger this whole time. Alright, that's why you weren't on screen for at least like 10 episodes. This episode is brought to you by Akraisin. Ak Racing. Good enough for weekend, good enough for you. I wonder how much these chairs cost. Jesus Christ. So Karizaki Sr. plants the seed that what's holding Sakura and her siblings back is that they are unaware of the events that happened in the past. Detective George ambushes Hikaru and Sakura and spills the beans that he knows everything. 
Dead Dad? Check. Libra Driver? Check. Quick Reflexes? Check. Oh yeah, so George gets attacked by the Giftarian and Ortega alike. And pulls his most alpha move yet. I bet Twitter is just gonna have a field day with this one. Vice and Sakura take on the Giftarian and make quick work of it. However, the energy given to Gifu undoes their transformations. Hmm. Needless to say, George is kidnapped by Ortega and willingly helps him upgrade his driver. He does it for the science. He even goes out of his way to tell everyone where they're at just so they can test it out. As he also reveals that Sakura's Libra driver might also have some hidden abilities since it was touched up by dear old dad. Rushing to the scene to take on Ortega, Vice and Iki have a Gurren Lagan moment while Sakura is just getting beat up. But it's fine because they really needed this moment. I guess. Sucking up Iki. Sucking Iki up. <laughs> sucking up Iki. Why can't I say this line? Iki just gets to suck. Just gets to suck. Iki gets sucked up into the rolling vice stamp, scanning the Rex vice stamp on it, they end up undoing the paint job of Vice, and Iki returns. Jacked Revice showcases off some new abilities with Iki in control, as he can draw elemental symbols and boost either himself up, others, or just throw them at folks. It's in stark contrast to Vice's where he just makes ink blots. That's actually a neat contrast between the two, depending on who's in control. Ortega, ready to use the full powers of demons, decides to run a train on the driver. And clearly, the demon was not having it. Ortega ends up being so upset with the demon, that's when the demon's driver pulls a Hiromi and decides to go back home to Gaga. It's then revealed that the weekend has a repainted demons driver. Oh my god. Premium Bandai is going to sell this shit too, right? My fucking wallet. Look, they just announced new Pokemon games this morning. Mix that with like the other game pre-orders that I have and all the other Toku toys that I already have pre-ordered and they're going to end up coming out. My fucking money. Oh yeah, and and Iki and Vice, um, yeah, they're 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 fused now. Rating time. This episode honestly just gets a solid B. We're getting a huge buildup to the massive revelations. Maybe next week, George finally gets a starring role in an episode. Ortega essentially ousts the director to him as well, so George is really just in it for the science. He gives no fucks on who he's helping, the man just wants to make belts and stamps. Talking pacing concerns, I gotta say that this episode in particular felt kind of like all over the place. It's just structured weird. But with the ending teases that we got, it just looks like next week, will probably be the ride that we were waiting for these last few episodes. So, is Sakura due for a new form? And look, I already know about Starburst Candy and Angimon. Thanks, Twitter! So, I know what's coming up for Iki and Daiji. But, Sakura remains a mystery to me, so... That's good. Honestly, I'm just mad at this recolored demon's driver. Bale's driver because I might want it like it's got gold and uh, it's got blue in it or is that green zoom and enhance that's green and the thing is I know it's gonna have different catchphrases and things like that when you scan vice stamps on there it's probably gonna use a whole different vice stamp just to activate the whole thing anyway right premium bandai couldn't possibly just re-release a recolored demons driver would they they would they, they they completely would they fucking would they absolutely would fucking premium bandai i swear so what did you all think on this episode was it just a filler piece 
to bridge in the gap for the true answers that we're actually going to get next week? And what of Karizaki Sr.'s true objectives? And what does he know fully when it comes to the Igarashi family? And what does George do with all the answers that he's just been getting this episode? And does Mama Igarashi know that Gento was literally a demon in the sack when they got married? And will Hiromi return after chilling with Gaga? Honestly, I hope your Gaga lays down her life. Demon's got a name and backstory, and we're finally getting it. So, that's it for me. Until next time, bye. Still ain't got my goddamn plush, though.